the registrar of political parties now says that constituent parties cannot belong to more than one coalition. According to Section 7 of the Political Parties Amendment Act 2021, appearing before the National Assembly Justice Legal Affairs Committee Assistant Registrar of Political Parties Ali Abdullahi also submitted what that coalitions cannot partner with another coalition unless they register as one outfit. Political parties seeking to join more than one coalition have been dealt a blow after the Register of Political Parties submitted to Parliament that parties can only belong to one coalition. Can you explain to Kenyans very well uh, how these uh, coalitions will relate to each other? Because they are uh, and in very high areas of political uh, leadership. Uh, there's a lot of confusion. Any party cannot be a member of two coalitions. You can only be a member of one coalition. Further, two coalitions cannot coalesce to form one alliance. There cannot be a collision between two coalitions. So that we can have one coalition registering itself and another coalition registering itself and then they combine to form a grand coalition. Uh, what we are observing around is that uh, there are political discussions ongoing. There are negotiations ongoing. By the end of the day, if any coalition is to be registered with the register of political parties, then it must be a coalition of political parties. This comes as the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission proposed to have timelines for the submission of party membership list to the electoral body reduced to 90 days, as opposed to the current 120 days. A move, they say, will see those who lose in party primaries barred from being independent candidates. So that it is in line with the timelines for one to become an independent candidate and there is no window for a person who loses in a party nomination exercise to then become an independent candidate. Mr. You can abstain from joining another party, but you can't stop him from remove, removing himself from one party and becoming independent. And I thought, besides all that, where is it coming up again now? What has changed? We think that that uh, creates double standards and double benefit. It denies a person from uh, it denies a person the opportunity to move from one party to another, but affords a person an opportunity to move from one party to be an independent candidate. The committee has since directed IBC and the Office of the Register of Political Parties to provide final submissions to the Political Parties Amendment Bill Number Two before it tables its report to the plenary for prime edition. I'm glad it's Mungai.